Hello everyone, this is Jeff on Dr. Precept. Today we are going to uh, show you what's the 10 common mistake during the installation. And this is probably the most important video I have ever made. So my goal is to let your Prius uh, continue driving without problem for the next 10 years. That's my goal. I'm not a repair shop, I'm not a uh, installer. Uh, I don't want you to come back every year saying there's a problem with the battery. So make sure the installation is properly done is number one, my number one priority. So um, in this uh, video, I'm going to show you the uh, top to bottom, what's the, uh, the common mistake. Uh, the first one is being the uh, service plug. A lot of people reach out to me saying, hey, the battery installed, I follow your video, but it's not working. Um, yeah, the first thing you need to check is the service plug. You not only need to uh, turn in 90 degree, but then you also need to clip it in, okay? That's the last step. Let me show you in front of the camera again. So this is what, what it looks like when you unlatch. You have to turn in 90 degree, and then you have to push it down. That will create a connection. That pin will connect to the computer, telling the computer, okay, it's ready to go. Okay, fail to do so, you will have to disconnect the turbo battery for five minutes in order to reset the error code. Okay, so that's number one mistake. And the number two mistake is the broken stud. So let me uh, bring the camera closer. The torque spec for the NA nut is two to three pound feet torque. So if using a hand tool and using your full strength, it's about two to three pound feet torque. However, if you're using a power tool, be very careful. For my case, I know exactly what my tools is capable of. So if I hear two clicks, that's two pound feet of torque. If you just purchase power tool, be very careful and be very gentle. Uh, otherwise, you could snap that NA bolt right off. And on the opposite side, we often found the customer forgot to tighten the NA nut. And that will basically create a voltage spike on that particular blade. And what you see in the Dr. Priest app is this uh, voltage chart or voltage bar is going to spike like crazy and create error code. And you could even transmit the, the heat into the cell and damage it as well. So every time after the installation, definitely check all the NA nuts one by one. Make sure they are all torqued to spec. Very important. Number three mistake is the turbo battery. You not only need to disconnect the turbo battery during the installation, but you also need to make sure it has enough juice. Right, so usually rule of thumb is you have to measure the voltage when, when the car is not in ready mode the voltage has to be very close to 13 volt okay not 12 but 13 it has to be close to 13 volts that means the battery is healthy it has not juice fail to check the turbo battery will result in draining of the uh, main battery let me let me tell you why because when you have a drain battery when you have a bad turbo battery your car is not going to shut down properly okay so it happened to me a couple of times i have a weak turbo battery and the car never sh really shut down on me so i thought it shut down and i leave the car overnight and that during that night it continued to drain the, the hybrid battery without me knowing that so in the morning the comp the, the batman battery has completely drained and that's uh that's the issue i have to jump start the battery and also damage the main battery so 12 battery a weak 12 battery is a very dangerous thing you have to check that make sure it doesn't happen okay another common mistake is not taking your time to clean the copper bus bar so i don't think any of the repair shop or most of the repair shop will ever clean up for you so what happened is this is like a cancer it's gonna corrode the inside of the copper bus bar and then create high internal resistance with high internal resistance translate to a lot of heat and that heat will, will uh, transmit into the battery and uh, sometimes damaging the battery okay so definitely clean that copper bus bar like this one another common mistake is you have to check all the cable joints all right so if you ever see a green or blue corrosion at the joints that means that cable is no good it's loose inside 
and it will generate a lot of heat and even damage the blade. So I had recently I have an uh, encounter where the customer saying the uh, the batteries went bad right after installation, and I found out there's corrosion on every joint, a heavy corrosion. So the cable is basically it's loose, it's not even connected, uh, and that that actually killed the special blade in this case uh, because the heat transmit into that cell and causing damage. Um, so what you can do is either buy a new cable okay a stock cable or uh, you can send the, the the corrosion or the rust down with sandpaper okay or a filer and then put a good solder on top of the the joints I'm gonna put a picture on the uh, on the screen right now to let you know what's the uh, proper, proper repairs looks like okay so not only this side but also you have to check the joint Right, like over here, nice and clean. That's what you want to see. If ever corroded, this is no good. You have to sand it down and solder it, or just buy a new cable. Okay, so check all four cable joints. Make sure it doesn't happen. Another common mistake is right after the installation, the customer is so exciting, right? So they they run the life expectancy test or they force charging the battery right after. I watch so many videos on YouTube and every time I watch it, it makes my heart bleed. <laughs> Try to imagine the battery is brand new, it's cold, never seen any big current and the first thing you're trying to do is force charging it. That doesn't make any sense at all. Okay, You have at least warm up the car, make sure the battery reach over 85 degree Fahrenheit and then you can do some force charging or life expectancy test okay please please don't make me bleed my heart bleed again don't force charge it right after the installation okay on the opposite side there's another common mistake made by the installer is right after the installation they do a force force discharging what force discharging means basically do an ev range test right after the installation that's not good at all okay you want to drive the car normally right after installation let the car can charge up and let the car to discharge when it charge up you will do a top balance top balance means if your battery is in balance you will try to balance itself whenever you hit that brake or do a regenerating braking okay so without going through that process you don't want to do an EV wrench test right after because even though every pack we check it before going out for shipping still there's a, a small amount of battery is not balanced and it will take time for the battery to reach a balanced state okay so don't run EV range test right after please okay another common issue we got from our customer is that the uh, the number one or number 14 blade is drained for some reason and we investigate give warranty and find out it's actually the ECU is not good so in this case, this ECU is from our customer from Florida. And let's take a look at the pin. You should be able to see that four pin is corroded inside. And what happened with that corroded pin is that's inside it, it creating a micro short. Micro short will basically drain that number one, number 14 blades slowly to death. All right, so it's definitely not a lithium battery problem, but it's an ECU problem. And we can give you warranty and give you a new blade, but eventually it's going to drain again. So that's not what you want. What you want to do is during the installation, just check for the pin of the ECU. If you see any pin that's corroded, no good. Just go get a used one from eBay for like 70 or $80 for cheap. All right, doing that will ensure your battery lasts for another 10 years. Okay, the next and probably the most important thing to check is make sure you have Dr. Priest app installed on your phone. Okay, I know your battery or your car is super old and there's a lot of things could go wrong, could happen. So you want Dr. Priest app, which developed by myself to help me develop the lithium battery. You want that to reset the error code, check the error code, or just monitor the overall health information regarding the battery. It's critical and it is very important. Uh, what you need to do is go to that website priusapp.com slash obd.html to find a compatible obd2 adapter then you can connect to your car and start the monitoring 
most features are free you don't even need to pay a penny okay just download it for free and get OBD like 20 bucks or 30 bucks from Amazon AliExpress or eBay you can find that everywhere all right that's it for now thank you guys for watching I hope you learned something today and definitely my goal again is to help your prayers to last another 10 years so follow the above 10 steps to make sure everything go through smoothly and the installation just one time installation can last for another 10 years thank you guys for watching i'll see you at the next one cheers